one. Oh, Connect America Fund is, is in uh, phase two currently. A good number of providers may have made announcements throughout the month of August, um, talking about the fact that they've applied for and received funding. And so for Westel, the most important aspect of the operators participating in this, in this program is to be a trusted provider, a, a solution provider to them. And so um, they've made a commitment to deploy services in a certain time frame, and there are penalties for them if they don't meet those commitments. And so Westel is a supplier that they can count on to enable them to deploy services and, and turn up services in a timely and efficient manner. Two. We have a portfolio of products that support operators that are deploying broadband services in, in rural outdoor environments. And so part of the feature set uh, associated with that portfolio of products is that we build uh, a great deal of modularity into our outdoor cabinet solutions. They're GR487 rated. And so what that means to a service provider that's deploying equipment to support uh, a, the rural broadband initiative is they can trust that they're gonna protect their equipment in harsh outdoor environments having to do with extreme temperatures, um, potential vandalism, and, and so forth. And so we really put a lot of thought into the design. Um, and then beyond that, um, we layer on integration services. And these integration services are, are aligned with the application. So you mentioned rural broadband, uh, cell backhaul, uh, fiber deployments. And so we're able to customize an integrated solution for the operator really based on the kind of network deployment that, that they're undertaking. Three. Uh, when we talk about an intelligent cabinet, um, it, it, it starts with intelligent design. So I mentioned earlier that our, our outdoor enclosures are modular, um, and that means that they, an operator can deploy them um, in any number of mounting uh, applications, that be it pad mount, pole mount, H-frame, uh, helix mount. So we, we really build in a great deal of flexibility. So they can select our line of cabinets and it, it's, it's a bit of a mix and match. So they can deploy uh, different sizes. Uh, they can add battery boxes if a uh, battery backup is a requirement. Uh, we have sidecars that allow them to separate network equipment from customer access type of equipment. Um, and that really eases um, their ongoing operation. They send a technician out to turn up service to do a move at or change. Uh, they don't have to be concerned that they're um, opening the cabinet where the main network equipment is and, and potentially ha wreaking havoc on, on, on service for, uh, for a broader set of their customers. And so on top of that, then we start to layer in some other features. So uh, for example, uh, a lot of our outdoor cabinets have heat exchangers because we need to somewhat control the temperature inside the cabinet to protect equipment uh, against overheating. And, and so we control the operation of that heat exchanger based on time of day. And so that's an intelligent aspect of the design. Uh, so there's flexibility and we're, we're kind of thinking through um, you know, what an operate, operator might like to see. Um, and then another element is site monitoring. And so we have intelligent site management as part of our portfolio. In our power distribution line, we have an intelligent fuse panel. And these are a couple of pieces of equipment um, that bring more intelligence into the cabinet. So as an operator deploys network, they need to maintain it, they need to, um, it's, it's in a rural environment, so they need to be able to understand what's going on without having to be on site or physically in front of it. And so we're building in those features into our cabinet solutions. Four. Westel outside plant product portfolio consists of outdoor enclosures, which we've talked about. Uh, we have a line of power distribution products, and um, th these are building blocks, essentially. So as a, an operator is considering a network deployment, 
Um, they're thinking about how to protect the equipment where they're deploying it. That's where the enclosure comes in. One of the very next things they have to think about is how are they going to power that equipment? How are they going to bring power in and manage it within the cabinet? And we have power distribution products that uh, start at the low end as a 10 position uh, DIN rail mountable fuse panel and it goes all the way up to a 60, uh, 600 uh, amp uh, DC breaker panel and so in, in a lot of flavors in between. So that's an example of really how we're layering our solutions, um, to, not just as a point product sale, but really as turnkey for our customers. They can elect to purchase these products independently, um, but then we also, they're complementary to one another, so it, it really works into our uh, solution approach to the marketplace. Five. So this is, this is a key challenge for a network operator. Uh, especially as it relates to the rural broadband initiative. They are deploying network assets further and further from their core sites. Um, in many cases, these, these locations can be not only geographically challenging in terms of getting to them, but they can be in locations in, based on weather conditions, time of year. They can be very difficult to get to and to service. And so, uh, I talked about our cabinets being GR487 issue 4 certified. And so going in, an operator knows that they're deploying a solution that's going to protect their, their equipment. Um, and again, when they can't be right there, or perhaps they've got to dispatch a technician um, to address issues, um, th that's a challenge we want to help them manage. Uh, so I talked about system integration. That's another aspect of our offering. We can, uh, once we understand what an operator is intending to accomplish with a network deployment, uh, we work with them on an integrated design, and then we deliver to that to them turnkey. So what that means in terms of ongoing support is, it's a little bit of cookie cutter. So they order multiples of these, and they know exactly what they're getting. And the, uh, their alternative, by the way, is to hire a contractor to perhaps do some of that work on site. And although that's an option, one of the disadvantages is at the network operations center where someone isn't standing in front of this, they don't necessarily know what they're dealing with. So it helps with troubleshooting, it helps with ongoing support uh, and, and, and maintenance.